This is what the Danish media as of now is reporting. The word coming in is in the backdrop of this conflict between Israel and Palestine. Denmark, in fact, has taken a stand to temporarily suspend development aid to the Palestinians. That's the update coming in that Denmark, in fact, in the backdrop of this conflict, has decided to temporarily suspend development aid to the Palestinians. Remember, as we've been pointing out, that global support has been pouring in for Israel. We've already seen in a joint statement that is coming from the likes of the United kingdoms, France, Germany, United States, all have lended their support to Israel saying we stand with you in this dark hour, in this hour of grief as well as in this hour that is bringing a lot of human pain as well. Let's also now bring in our colleague Siddhant who is joining us. Siddhant, as we were pointing out that we've already seen a joint statement that is coming in, many other nations have also openly voiced their support for Israel. Help us understand the move that is being taken in by Denmark. Sidan, can you hear me? Okay, we'll try and re-establish that connection with my colleague Sadan, but that's the update that's coming in, in the backdrop of the conflict that now has entered day four. This is what the Danish media as of now is reporting, that Denmark has also decided to give their support to Israel, because what Denmark has decided to do is to temporarily suspend development aid to the Palestinians. As I was pointing out a short while ago, that we've already seen a joint statement that is coming from the likes of the UK, the US, France, Germany and others, who've already lended their support to Israel and they're also saying that they're going to be in constant touch with the Israeli authorities and the Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to try and see what their immediate demands are. As of now, the big move coming in by Denmark, they've also gone on to show their support to Israel because what Denmark has as of now done, they've decided to suspend development aid to the Palestinians. What will be important to understand is for how long this aid in fact has been suspended because what the Danish media is reporting, it's saying that it's temporarily being suspended so we don't know for how long this aid in fact has been suspended as we were pointing out this conflict between israel and palestine now has entered day four as you're seeing retaliation coming in from the idf or the israeli defense forces hamas is also not pulling back and at the heart of this you have hostages who are still under the control of hamas